evaluate the following, and then we have three multiplication problems involving complex numbers. Let's look at these one at a time. First, we have negative 2 times 5 minus 3i. In a situation like this, we can just distribute the negative 2 to the real and imaginary parts of the complex number on the inside. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10, and negative 2 times negative 3i is positive 6i, so we end up with negative 10 plus 6i. Next, we have 4i times 3 plus 2i. Again, we can distribute the 4i out front into each of the terms inside. 4i times 3 is 12i, and then 4i times 2i is 8i squared. However, we can't leave our answer like this. Remember that i squared is equal to negative 1, so 8i squared is equal to 8 times negative 1, or negative 8. So we can rewrite this as 12i minus 8. And it looks a little bit nicer if we put the real part first. So we're going to rearrange these terms and write it negative 8 plus 12i. That is our final answer. And then we have one more problem. 6 minus 7i times negative 3i. We can distribute here as well. The only difference is that we're distributing from the right instead of the left, but that's no real difference. Negative 3i times 6 is negative 18i. And then here we've got a negative times a negative. Those will cancel out and give us a positive. And 7i times 3i is 21i squared. Again, we've got an i squared, and that's going to make that term negative. So this gives us negative 18i minus 21. And again, we'll rearrange to put this in standard form, putting the real part first and the imaginary part second. And we end up with negative 21 minus 18i.